Hey guys, it's Mark from Aquascaping Amsterdam. I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, make another video for you guys. And in this video, I kind of want to go over every single one of my aquariums. Uh, go a little bit more in depth, show you which plants I use, filtration, fertilizer, everything. Um, so, yeah, right now I have four aquariums. It's one, it's two, three, four, and one biosphere, which is like a small terrarium. So, I'll get back behind the camera and I'll yeah, show you every single one of them. Okay, so here we have the biosphere. So, I set up like a week and a half ago. It's basically like a vase with a light on top, and you can regulate the color temperature from yellow to white and the intensity as well so I just keep it on full intensity uh, plants are still adapting so in here we have a lot of different plants there's uh, Hemianthus cuba in the foreground Cryptoparva uh, Reineke mini Hydrocotyl verticillata some mix of Anubias, different Bucephalandra. In the back we have Pogestamon erectus. Some more Cryptocorine on this side. And a lot of moss on the stump. And this thing is really easy to take care of. You just spray it once a day with some uh, reverse osmosis water. I'm keeping the air vents completely closed for now. But over time I will like slowly open them up so yeah I set this up like a week and a half ago and I think it's already looking great I really can't wait how this is gonna look in a few weeks from now I'll keep you guys posted I'll do like an update every week on it so this is the first nano tank uh, it's basically the same size as the ADA Mini M which is I think uh, 36 centimeters from left to right from the back it's 22 centimeters and from bottom to the top is 26 so in this is home to my beta Milo he's been in here for about two months now doing really good um, for filtration we just have a small internal filter a heater as well because betas like a little bit warmer water. Most of my aquariums don't have heaters, but this guy gets the special treatment. Uh, I'm also using CO2, and all the CO2 that I have in my aquariums are basically uh, DIY systems with yeast and sugar. Uh, works really well for me. For plants, we have Hemianthus cuba as a carpet, and we have some Stargain wrappings under right side behind that Rotala Atra um, on the wood we have some trident fern some mini Christmas moss and some fissidens in front of the wood there's a small crypt grind patchy pink and behind it we have some Hemianthus species Amano Pilgras so that's it for the plants oh, and there's some there's a couple of different of varieties of Bucephalandra as well um, some floating plants and I always keep a lid on top of this aquarium because I don't want Milo to jump out and the lighting is a Cre Aqua Nano Elite it's a beautiful LED light works very well so this is a very simple setup again a small internal filter uh, in DIY CO2 by the way, if you, want to make me, if you want me to make a video about these CO2 systems that I use, just let me know in the comments. Um, so yeah, small internal filter, DIY CO2. And the light is a Nano S from Cre Aqua. Um, plants are growing in tropical soil. And this one just had a trim last weekend, so it's not looking the best right now. But plants that we have in here are a lot of Fissidens moss, uh, carpet of Monte Carlo, different varieties of Anubias, some Cryptocorini, um, Rotala species green in the background 
and there's some peanut feeder growing on the wood is going outside of the water really simple and easy to maintain cube it's been running for I think almost eight or nine months now doing really good okay next up is the smallest cube that I have this is the 10 liter cube from Denerle again um, it's not looking the best right now basically just kind of became like a plant holding tank I'm not very good at throwing plants away I want to keep every single one of them so if I don't know what to do with them I just put it in here and let it grow so there's no CO2 in here it's just like a low tech scape um, so yeah there's like a million different varieties of plants in here I'm not even gonna mention all of them um, so no CO2 and um, there's a small LED light from the Nerle on here as well a uh, small hang on the back filter and that's it really easy just gets a uh, water change once a week no fertilization nothing that's it all right last but not least we have the Sera cube uh, this was sent to me by Sera for their contest uh, basically they released a new line of aquariums and to show them off they organized a contest which I participated in um, so yeah, this aquarium is 40 centimeters from left to right, 40 centimeters front to back, and 50 centimeters high. So it holds about 80 liters. Uh, for filtration, I'm using an external canister filter from JBL, the Crystal Pro V E701. Lights on this cube are the Le Serra Exchange tubes. LED lights, there's three of them on there, all in different temperature colors. Mm, I keep a lid on there as well, just in case fish decide to jump out. There's actually quite a lot of fish in this aquarium. And there's some amber tetras, and some small rainbow fish, and lots of shrimp, and some other sinkless. In the foreground we have Marsalea Hirzuta and behind that we have some Pogastamon Helferi Next to that some Limnophila species Vietnam Mini And the big plant in the middle is uh, Plexa Albertii And left there there's some Ludwigia species Mini Super Red and Behind some Rotala uh, Rotala Ortala rotonifolia and on the stones there's also some hygrophila pinatifida. In the back you can't see them but there's like a carpet of Helanthium um, tenellum. On the surface there's some uh, floating plants. I'm actually not sure what the name of this one is. I like to have floating plants in my aquariums, you know they they soak up excess excess nutrients, kind of helps keep algae at bay um, well, in this aquarium I'm also using DIY CO2 again the yeast based system so here on the bottom there's two one and a half liter bottles and they both contain a mix of sugar, yeast, some gelatin and this basically produces CO2 and which then gets dispersed into the aquarium with a diffuser uh, and this kind of system lasts about three to four weeks I would say Alright guys that's it for this video uh, quick tour on my aquariums uh, if you have more questions just let me know send me a DM, DM on Instagram at Aquascaping Amsterdam um, yeah have a great day and stay tuned stay tuned